Oh. Practice, but it was all right. That was, that was rusty as butter. That was terrible. That was rusty as butter. But that's okay, we'll forgive you. Can I just tell um, you, I just it, said to Ryan, have you got an earpiece? And he looked at me weirdly and he was like, what? And he thought I'd said to him, have you got your nappies? And I just thought, <laughs> I've I missed this man so much. <laughs> what context your nappies are in, I don't know, but yeah. Welcome back, Ryan. Thank we can't you. even introduce them, can we? Can we just let them introduce them? Sorry. Them do it? We're going to be on our point. best behaviour. Go, right. go, go, no, no, go. No, I mean, you guys, we don't even need to do the intro now because you've kind of already introduced yourself. <laughs> Ryan Bridge Give us a good and one. Amanda Gillies, um, <laughs> former AM show and the AM show and AM uh, hosts over the years. Um, great to have you with us for a special panel. Thank you. Yeah, um, it's so nice we're, we're kind of reflecting on a whole lot of things, not really really getting too existential today. Um, can we start off with where you're at, what you're doing, what your next moves are? You go, yes, right. um, I have been in this morning at News Talk ZB from 3 a.m. Oh, <laughs> setting those alarms again already. I, I'm like, it's all coming back to me. <laughs> uh, so I am going to be doing the early edition program on News Talk ZB from 5 till 6 Weekday morning, starting Monday, if you'd like to <laughs> tune in. He's rehearsing that uh, one, isn't he? <laughs> um, so uh, it's very exciting. It's very, very exciting. It's a new challenge. It's um, working for NZME and working for News Talk ZB is a, is a great privilege, and I'm, and I'm lucky to have a job, and, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, and I'm also looking forward to getting to know a new audience and all that, that kind of stuff yeah. that goes with it, and, and getting back to radio, which is actually where I started. Funnily enough, because I had terrible teeth, and and the, I, I can bring I up that photo if you want. Don't bring the photo. Up. <laughs> the man who and I won't name anybody, but the one, the man who who hired me, he said, "I'm sorry, but we're going to have to send you to radio first. <laughs> So I've had some work done, people. All right. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, Goodness. that was a, that was. <laughs> wow. I Clearly, did, I, my teeth were passable. I'm yeah. quite happy about yeah. that. I did send a photo of you in the 2013 press gallery photo. Um, <laughs> you did. I sent it to oh, um, our sweet. producer Olivia, and she was like, "Who's that?" <laughs> and it's you with glasses. And that was your radio music. era. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those were the days. Yeah. Anyway. Holy um, heck, here we are now. the hottest man in television. Yeah. How can someone yeah. say that to you? Stop it. If this makes me feel any better, a man wrote in when I was on the AM once to say that he couldn't stand my teeth. They were like little piano keys. <laughs> and, I, and now I can't ever get that mind picture out of my mind. He said those little piano uh, keys that you have when you smile. And I was like, wow. So if that makes you feel any better, I don't know. People, wow, people are harsh, yeah, eh? People on, are harsh. So they can be. On, yeah. on, That's um, brutal. A handwritten Now I just note. can't stop looking at your teeth being like, they don't actually look anything like a piano. <laughs> I want I'm to like play them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Titanic sound. Soundtrack's playing. Yeah, we're looking well, at it mouth. is kind of like the Titanic could play today, the soundtrack for us going down. Yeah, so. very apt. I mean, yeah, very apt. Um, what are you doing, Amanda? Do you, I mean, you're probably sick and tired to death like we all are of that yeah. question. So I'm sorry that we have to ask it on national telly. Can I just say today I was going to wear black because I thought of day of mourning <laughs> and day of it's sadness. And then I thought to hell with that. This is my mm. tribute to Lloyd Burr, this dress, because I thought the man with the sassiest socks, the best brooches, the best shirts in town, I wanted to match you with the stress nice. and your sass so I've gone in sparkles I thought we'll go out with a bang well I'm not even actually the only sparkly thing is this little flamingo yeah which I got from some <laughs> cheap Chinese store that um, sends it over but it does sort of sparkle a little bit um, and I've got avocados on my socks which like, I mean they could be more exciting but anyway um, awesome stuff so you're just chilling so out me, after today. I'm gonna chill out yep. so I've done 23 years here and it's been a blast and I've loved every single moment and then I thought I was in that absolute FOMO people were going to staff to NZME to news talk and you sort of get caught up in it and you think oh my god am I missing out and I thought no we're gonna take the kids Tim's kids we'll go to the beach for a week at school holidays we're gonna go overseas for a week and have some sunshine and a relax then I'm gonna put my big girl pants on and find something you know because I think is this the end of journalism for me? Is it the start of something new? And I thought, I just need to have a bit of a breather. Yeah. Yeah. yeah your big girl pants break. or your nappies, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Get my nappies. <laughs> nappies <as well. laughs> yes. um, it is we, a big step. Yeah. Can we talk about some of the, the behind the scenes or bonkers moments that you both have had over um, Morning TV over the years? Is there anything you want to share about some of those memories that I know All it's quite hard to come up with? Perhaps them. that you are involved in on air and your time in AM, particular standout moments. So I was thinking about this this morning, the, the, and you will remember this, Mel, the fundraiser that we did yeah. for the flood victims, yeah. which sort of started as just a naff thing that we would, you know, and we were trying to, and we had some big 
um, fundraising banner that looked that was quite phallic shaped. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> was. That? I do and remember, remember pieces that. Pieces of A4 stuck together yeah. with sellotape. And it was like, you know, here's one thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, whatever. And we were talking to these people who whose lives had just been turned upside down. And we were trying to just do something. And then we ended up raising half a million dollars. Oh, and it was yes. unreal, you know. Yeah. And, and those are the days that you think, wow, what, what an amazing show, what an amazing thing to have been part of. And, yeah, my overwhelming feeling today is just um, lucky and grateful. I'm lucky that I got to be a part of it, and I'm grateful that it happened. And on those days too, it always astounds me how much generosity there is out there from people watching the show. We, we were singing, seeing that just tick up and up and up. And it was, it was all of you watching who were giving so generously. And yeah, it, it always blows me away how, how those things run. Mm. Um, Amanda, you must have some fantastic stories and memories. Oh, look, it's the laughter. It's the, and you'll know, it's the uncontrollable <laughs> laughter. Oh, you'll get up at 3 a.m., you're beside yourself, you're tired, and it's the little things that will just trigger you. And it's the fun. And that's what I look back on. Gosh, you know, I, I wrote, we did a piece this year, uh, this week, Ford News Hub, and I said it's the glorious moments, the tough moments, the heartache, but also the ache of the cheeks from the uncontrollable <laughs> laughter. And you had that, and I look back on it, and I smile, and it's, I'll always look back on this time with fondness. And you do your march. 15s and you know the, it was so deep and but the country came together and you were so inspired by that and you had lockdown we went through and that was tough for god's sake i worked with duncan and mark you know there were some <laughs> there were some moments but you loved each other like family and i still feel that way and so there's never been regrets and i loved the audiences i've loved the feedback good and bad i've loved chatting to you in the streets and it's been a wild ride and my heart breaks today that this is closing because because I know so many people want it to continue. I know so many people want to wake up with you two again on Monday morning. And so mm. it sucks it's not going to happen. But I'm so grateful, like you, mm. Ryan. And, you know, we had some oh, very God. funny, wildly <laughs> inappropriate We've moments. seen some of them already <laughs> this morning. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's a ride. You mentioned feedback there. I just want to read you this email from uh, Group. Um, Hi, my name's Group. I'm 11 years old. My dad watches a show every morning. I've hijacked his email address. There you go. Oh, I love the dresses and laugh at the show. I'll still remember when I was little and I tried to copy Amanda. Oh, I will always gorgeous. remember this show as she was part of my childhood. Oh. So, look, you know, people grow up, you know, grow up watching yeah. you and having you on the on the show. Um, and you do have this amazing warmth about you and naughtiness as well, which... <laughs> and the dresses as well. Else. Everyone just mm. saw me this morning and was like, of course you've worn that. That's yeah. an Amanda dress. <laughs> I was like, has anyone seen a man? <laughs> <laughs> I literally go so out with a bag. You can't see it. I know. <laughs> but I think it's a disco ball for the party later. I am going to be there twerking and having fun. <laughs> um, and also, I just want to shout out while we've got you two, to um, all of the other former AM hosts who've been such a big part of building this show up mm. to the success that it has been. Um, there are many of them that are still working mornings, like Duncan and, and Ingrid. Um, mm. Jim's busy. So, yeah, we, we want and to shout Mark's out to you. Busy. Mark. Mark is busy. Mark is busy. couldn't this we were hoping to have him here for one last fling, but um, he's got work stuff, so yeah. He's a businessman. Yeah, but he's he, making he is, money. He is, it's quite strange thinking of him as a businessman. Yeah, man. like quite he, a corporate. No, no, he yeah. gets on the bus every morning. He yeah. gets his suit on and he gets on a bus and he goes to work. No, he doesn't get on the bus, does he? He does. He gets on a bus. He does. He I hates know. buses. Hold on, he doesn't want to pay for parking. Exactly. Yeah, this makes sense. Wow. Yeah. I did not think of him as a public. Yeah. And he said yeah. to us, "It's for money things. It's not because I'm doing anything to save the planet." Yeah. Like he's so. <laughs> nothing he's nothing so about climate change. Yeah. yeah. At yeah. today, if he would bring his big four. Ford, I think it had like a Ford Ranger or something, and it was this biggest, biggest behemoth, or Ford Everest or whatever it was, <laughs> and it would block like three car parks, so no one else could actually get in and out. It was the biggest scandal, and that's kind of, anyway. That's um, him to yeah. a T. Now, yeah. what are you two doing? Talk us through. We've talked about us. What are you guys oh, I mean, I've, I've followed in Ryan's footsteps his entire career and my yeah. entire career, replaced him in the gallery at Radio Live, replaced him um, on the drive host at Magic Talk, replaced him here on AM, so I'll probably end up um, replacing him at ZB, because yep, that's nice. I just follow him. I, just I like copy it. He does. I like it. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and Mel, you're doing me. Yeah, well, I have a few decisions to make and um, I need some time to sleep and spend some time with my beautiful children nice. before I can be in a headspace to decide yep. what what is the best course for me. Um, but also some very exciting projects uh, that I'm very much looking forward to. 
Nice. Sounds good. Oh, some exciting projects. Well, yeah, little seeds of ideas that... Are you talking like, know, like, like as in work or are you talking like renovations? Oh, <laughs> renovations. <laughs> Reno <laughs> Since when is renovating exciting? I don't know. I just thought you might have just changed right. a little bit and were like, oh, <laughs> DIY, I love it. <laughs> Actually, I, I probably will be watching some renovation in the morning on uh, TV3 from next week. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just very quickly say to everybody that, Mel, um, you've just been an absolute... St stalwart now and but champion of this show from from the get-go and you get up earlier than everybody else you've got kids you've got a family you've got all of that stuff to worry about and you come in here and you never complain oh. and you're always positive and I and I just think the audience clearly loves you and with good that's reason. Nice. So thank you. You're just trying to make me cry. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> no, that's going. very sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Keep going. I mean, he's absolutely right. Yeah. I don't know how you do it, to be honest. I don't know how you do it. You're yeah. always the peacemaker as well. Mm -hmm. Everyone else has got dramas. It's like Mel's just the calming <laughs> presence amongst everyone else. <laughs> like the Give you little fairy godmother that <laughs> just comes You're kind of like that too, in a way, Amanda. Just a little session. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think Amanda gives you the telling offs in the break about your language. No, no, no. Yeah. She doesn't, like Amanda doesn't have the look where it's like, oh my goodness, don't my soul has just melted because <laughs> Mel's given me that other look. <laughs> um, it was Ryan Bridge and Amanda Gillies. I don't think we actually have to say who you are. People will be um, very familiar with you both. But thanks for joining us on the couch one last time. And all the best for everything you do. Thank and you thanks guys. for being part of New Zealand TV history.